So after a question came in, wondering after they have a CPC certification, what's the next certification to strive for? Well, that's kind of a, you know, multi, multi-level. Let's think about it here. So do you have one specifically in mind? So one thing to be looking at, is there a particular field you currently work in and that's what you want to continue and get a, spe a specific certification in that field. Otherwise, well, if you don't have anything in mind, then let's figure out what it is you want to do. Was there a particular section that you liked and you'd want to learn? Or what do you want to do with your career? What is it exciting you? Do you belong to forums or uh, blogs or posts of where people you can ask that question of other people? You know, what do they have? What do they like best? Um, do they have any openings that you know of? So if it's a particularly difficult field to get into, how are you going to get into it? If it, networking is one of the best ways to get into that field, if there's a particular field you want to get into. So do you attend your chapter meetings if you belong to AAPC or AHIMA? Do you go to your chapter meetings? So ask the other people there. Uh, attending conferences and conventions. So AAPC does some, all, all of the organizations do them. So this year they have HealthCon in April. There's uh, one in um, in my area in Washington, D.C. in August, and then there'll be one at uh, Disneyland. And so it may not be something that you think you could get to easily, especially if your employer doesn't pay for it. Um, but if you if it's something you really want to go and learn and it's a lot of CEUs, that's actually where I met Alicia. So that's a, I went to one and met that's Alicia. It. And so so now I have now I'm doing more of what I wanted to be doing with my career. So looking into that. Um, but it also depends on your strengths. So if you're a very detail-oriented person, the CPMA would be something good for you. I described it to a student one time as, do you like the detective work, the going back behind and, and looking to make sure everything was done correctly? Um, so narrowing down that right answer, looking for the documentation. Another part of CPMA is education. So I know Skylar does that, and uh, I know people who own that business and go back out and educate the providers once they've done the CPMA. Now you got to educate the billing staff and the providers on what they're looking for. If that's, so that, that's something that you like to get in and gritty with, then that'd be a good field to go into. Like I said, if you have a particular field you liked uh, or a subject that you liked on the CPC, well, there's a specialty exam for that as well. I call my girlfriend crazy, but she loves interventional radiology. I, I, that is I cringe. <laughs> I cringe. <laughs> Cardiology, she loves it. She can spit out any code, any diagnosis. She, it, it's amazing, um, but she can rattle any of that off. So she gets really excited talking about it too when we do a CPC review uh, prior to an exam. So she's, if there's something that you really like, you really like pediatrics, you feel comfortable with those codes, go for that specialty. That would be something to look at. Um, your outpatient coding. So if you like hospitals, that would be something to look at. Uh, a lot of high volume work. And another thing to think about as well, what's available in your area? If you live pretty remote, you may not have very many options. So if you need to look at something that does remote work, then you might need to narrow down some of the fields. Um, if there's a large hospital in your area, you might want to look into uh, doing the outpatient then or some kind of uh, radiology or some something that that hospital offers might be good for your career. I personally love the CPB program. I, I'm so happy they came out with that. And I love taking that exam and I love teaching it right now. So that to me is, um, I, I, I think the two go together. I think you would be an excellent coder if you also know how the billing works and you're an excellent biller if you know how the coding works. So billing is your back end. It's the uh, finding your money 
getting paid for those, you know that those two procedures go together. So now let's fight to get those two procedures paid by the insurance company because they can be billed together. You understand the NCCI edits. So you have to know things like fraud and abuse. You've already learned some of that for the CPC. So now kind of incorporate it and put it all together. If um, running a business is looking like one of the career goals you'd really like to do, you have the CPCO, the compliance officer. They're going to set up the programs in your office or possibly for a large corporation or a hospital. Uh, CPPM, the practice management. And there are a couple other companies out there that offer, like MGMA, um, some of the other organizations that do offer practice management credential. So if that's something that you really want to do, running a business, doing the human resources, you love working with people, you love being a leader, that would be, those would be some good fields to look into. And depending upon your skills, and like I said, what's in your area. So learning about you know, a particular field, but there's nothing available in your area, it, it may not be beneficial in the long run for if, if you've got to drive a long ways or take a lot of time away from your family if that's not what you want to do. And looking at where do you want to find yourself? Where do you want to be with this career? This career has so many opportunities available uh, with all the credentials that are out there, with all the aspects of any medical field you could work in. So I, I get really excited about new credentials. I'm excited to take my exam on Saturday. So I'm hopeful that, uh, that we'll just keep going. I've got two planned for this year. So... That's we'll exciting. see how that goes. Exciting. <laughs> That's exciting. And um, someone had asked, Jennifer, any suggestion of blogs? Of course, CCO has their CCO club, which is forums and blog posts and everything. But off the top of your head, can you think of anything else? Um, as far as joining one or? Yeah, I guess one that you would suggest for people that are interested. I know, I mean, of course, the AAPC has one. AAPC. I am a huge proponent for practice management of Am, no, no, um, AMBA for billing, they're mm -hmm. fabulous, and PACOM for practice management. They yeah. are amazing. Those two organizations I would look into. Um, uh, yeah, the, the very first organization I actually ever heard of was MGMA, and because uh, my girlfriend belonged to them, and she was you know, our practice administrator, um, so I thought they were really, uh, really well organized, but there's probably... It, and especially if you are a particular specialty you want to go into, then that society's association would have a blog as well. And that's definitely be something you'd want to keep up on. Do you need more medical certification and business training? Learn more at www.cco.us.